Hi YouTubers, pretty plus size me. Um and I just sat and talked to the camera that wasn't recording for like freaking 15 minutes. So I was trying to get y'all back camera realness. Um, you know, because it's a better megapixel than the front camera. Um, but I just can't be doing this. Like I did this like the third or fourth time I've done it. Like think you're recording and you're not. And because I don't really have a setup like that, you know, it's like facing the, it's like against the wall on my um, computer desk. So there's no way for me to get behind it to see if I'm recording. So yeah, so I'm going to have to give y'all the front camera. I know it's not as good quality as the back. Maybe one day I get a camera, you know, if I'm not poor forever. <laughs> but it sucks because I just went through this whole video, whole ordeal, expressing myself, letting it all out, and the bitch ain't recording. So, piss me off. And it happens all the time. But, so I wanted to come to you guys um, because basically I'm completely and totally restarting my journey with Herbalife. Um, in about two weeks, it'll be a year that I've been in Texas. And... I've accomplished a lot of things here as far as my life, but my eating has been trash the entire year. I probably eat good for like two weeks at most and then something lures me in. Um, they have really good food here. And I, I, about maybe two weeks ago, I realized that I am like a binge eater. So I never considered myself as a binge eater because I assumed that like with the binging comes like the binge and purge like you know um eating all the bad food and then throwing it up but uh I've been watching like YouTube videos and researching a little bit more um and uh I realized that look at my damn piece of pee right here I realized that um just because you don't throw the food up doesn't mean you're not binging so, I always knew that I'm an, emo an, an emotional eater. I always knew that I eat my feelings because um, I, I haven't really fully learned how to cope with, um, you know, when things get really tough or, you know, I don't have a lot of friends, um, not exactly the closest with my family. So, it's like I I turn to food. Food's been there. I'm 30 years old and food has been there probably for 30 years, you know, and um it's a difficult cycle to break and it's easy to go back to what you know it's easy to um run back to the thing that's always there like it, it <laughs> and it sounds so sad but it's 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 my reality and it's you know I have to be completely honest with myself um if I'm ever going to get control of my weight forever like I've lost over 100 pounds like three times. So losing the weight is not what I have a problem with. I have a problem keeping it off because something traumatic happens or a stress factor happens to me and I like, I backslide, I go all the way back. Um, so I, I, like I said, I realized like two weeks ago that I am actually a binge eater. Um, because I'll go, if I'm stressed out, I'll go and I'll buy cookies, cakes, candy, chips. Like, I need something sweet. I need something salty. Um, sunflower seeds, like, fast food, all of that, and eat it at one time. Literally just eat all of it at once. And, um, you know, that that's what people do when they binge. So, um, like I said, I assume that I, you know, because I don't throw it up. But it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's still the same thing. So, um, the other day when I had, like, a super stressful day, um, you know, I'm surprised that I didn't go in. Like, is this one of my nose? Probably ashy. Um, I didn't go and eat, you know, bullshit like I normally would. Um, and I think because I kind of recognized the trigger so I was able to kind of um avoid it if that makes sense like I did go um and buy chicken and I ate the whole chicken and that's not really bad you know so 
Well, I gave Bianca a small piece. But well, I gave her two pieces. I gave her a leg and a thigh. And I ate the rest. But, um, <laughs> you know, that's better than fast food, cookies, cakes, candy, chips. And it wouldn't just be one thing either. Like, I'll go and I'll buy, like, white chocolate. I'll buy dark chocolate. I'll buy, like, two or three bags of chips. I'll buy Skittles. I'll buy sunflower seeds. Then I'll go and get french fries and McDoubles. And I, I'll literally eat all of that at one time. So, that's what's the binge um, for me. So, um, I completely recommitted yesterday. I even reached out to my coach and asked her to coach me as if I'm a brand new person, brand new on Herbalife. Um, she's always been my coach, but because I also have clients and I also coach, you know, people... It's not like I needed her to tell me, um, you know, what to eat, when to eat it, how to eat it, how to take the products, because I already know that. Um, so this for me is more like a support and accountability, blah, 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 blah. accountability, um, because I have to really, it is so disheartening when you basically work so hard to lose the weight and completely change your body. And then, you know, you run back to old faithful food that's always going to be there. Um, and then you see your body start to change for the worse. So, that's where I'm at right now in my life. Um, since I've been in Texas, I haven't been consistent at all with how I eat. I don't eat healthy. Um, maybe like two weeks at a time, I'll eat healthy. Um, and then by the third time, the third week start to roll around, um, something has lured me in. Something has happened that triggered me to go and eat bullshit. And I just kind of want to get, um, past that. And I, you know, so I'm, I'm trying to be as honest as possible with myself, um, and with everybody around me because, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's a bit much. So, I had a surgeon tell me, like, maybe, like, shit, maybe, like, eight years ago now. I'm getting so old. Um, a weight loss surgeon told me that, or, um, I wouldn't be able to lose the weight and keep it off on my own because I have an excessive amount of fat cells. Um, and basically, they read, like, they'll shrink, but then, you know, they, they grow back to their side quickly so um i find that to be true i gain weight back really fast like two th three times faster than i lose it um but i i can't say for a fact that i can't keep the weight off because i never completely give up poor eating habits you know so i'll lose weight but then you know, I still eat foods, you know, at times that aren't the best for me. So, the only way I can say for sure that I know for a fact that I can't keep the weight off is if I'm completely consistent and I still gain weight. That has never happened to me. So, I've never even gained two pounds, I would say. Unless, of course, it's water weight from, like, my cycle or... Um, after like a big workout and I have like my muscles are swollen <sighs> the next day. Um, I've never gained weight while I was being consistent on my program. And that leads me to, you know, everybody who says, oh, you gain weight after, um, you get off herb life. That's not true unless you go back to eating the food that caused you to gain the weight in the first place. And that goes with anything. Um, it doesn't matter if you do intermittent fasting, if you do... Um, like green smoothies, if you go completely vegan, um, low carb, keto, even weight loss surgery. Um, if you go back to eating the foods that caused you to gain weight in the first place, you're going to still have the same problem. That weight is going to come back. It doesn't matter how you lost it. It's going to come back if you're not consistent with changing your habits. Which, like I said, I'm not really consistent with changing my habits. Which is why I gained weight back. Has nothing to do with Herbalife. 
because no one is cheating every day and taking Herbalife. That's a lie. Herbalife is not exactly cheap. Um, it's worth it in my opinion, but it's not cheap. So you're not gonna go and eat McDonald's and then eat Herbalife. I mean, take your Herbalife. That would be a waste of money and time and products. So when I eat bullshit, I do not take Herbalife because it would be a waste. So you you ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you're not doing that so if you start eating foolishness of course you stop your program so you know i i just completely disagree with with that uh my mindset and then of course there's literally thousands of people who've lost weight with herbal life and kept it off um because they completely changed their eating habits so that's what i'm working towards this year i think i probably gained total since i've been in texas i've gained a lot of weight um i've been gaining weight for like the past two years and uh it's just ridiculous now so i i know the other day you know i'm basically back where i started um which is crazy because two years ago i was like at my lowest weight so the weight the weight comes back super fast for me and I just, I accept it because that's just what it is. I just have to figure out how to stop fucking going back. Um, and I, I know for a fact controlling those binge like habits or those binge eating habits that I had and didn't even really realize that I had. Um, but I, I did my weigh in this morning. I probably will do a weigh in once a week. Um, my toes are ashy in the video, so at least you knew I took a bath. Um, and I'm going to do measurements sometime today or maybe tomorrow. Um, so I can just keep up with my measurements also. Um, but yeah, so I, I've always worked out. I don't drink or smoke. Um, I don't have a lot of friends, so it's really, I don't have any way to cope. Um with life <laughs> so if it's not food that i'm using as a coping skill i use the gym so this year i probably say about 75 to 80 percent of the year i've been consistently working out like even right now um i wasn't eating well but i was still in the gym four times a week because it relieved stress for me so and then you kind of have a community at the gym Oh, how are y'all sleepy? Look at this. Double chin. Double chin. Little neck. All this done came back. <laughs> and I'm right eating tacos and smallest and fast food. <laughs> um, it's not funny. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> but, um, so I work out even though I don't eat healthy, which, you know, it's still good for your heart and your body. And your mind and your soul overall, but it's not conducive to weight loss if you're just eating foolishness and working out. So, I guess, uh, you know, hopefully, you guys follow me along in this journey. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been here before, like, you know, you go, you, you get in banging results, and then something happens and you go backwards. So, I'm going to do a reverse, that's not reverse, this is reverse, reverse uh, progress picture. So I'm going to show you guys my pictures from like two years ago to my pictures from today. And it is, it ain't looking good, boy. But, you know, transparency is, is the name of the game and accountability. So I fucked up all year um last year was bad but it wasn't this bad this this year i ate trash so um yeah let, let's see if i can uh it's january um maybe in uh i i don't know i don't want to i don't want to put a number on it because i think i don't have a problem losing the weight but it, it's the consistency so I would rather put goals on my consistency than actual numbers on the scale goals. But anyways, 
the first video was probably a lot more better, but uh, that bitch ain't record, so it wasn't really a video. I was just talking to my phone, and the whole screen was black when I turned it around. <laughs> like, this shit is not even on. But I sorry I keep yawning. Such a bum. I'm gonna go make my shit. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I've been rocking with me for a long time. And I keep gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight. But I'm gonna put forth I'm gonna put forth the hundred percent effort and I'm gonna try my hardest to be consistent, which I, I never put forth a hundred percent effort, honestly. Um because it doesn't require that for me to lose the weight, but obviously it for me to keep it off, um, you know, 100% effort has to be one of the requirements. And honestly, if the complete 100% effort doesn't work, I'm probably going to have to have surgery. Um, which I don't want to do. I'm actually terrified of it. Um, I had went through the whole process, like I said, about five years ago and got scared and pulled out. Um... So, I don't want to go through the surgery. I am terrified of it. I don't want, you know, to you. And I know it's a tool, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to. I didn't need surgery to gain this much weight. So, I feel like I shouldn't have to have it to lose it. Um, But, I, I mean, if, if I can't, that's, that's going to have to be what I revert to. And I'll probably go to Mexico to get it done. I have a friend that went to Mexico and had the surgery, and she's doing great. But uh, my brother and my mom had weight loss surgery. Um, I would say, I think in September. They had it, like, within two weeks of each other. And, um, you know, they're, they're both doing great. They both had the sleeve, um, and my friend also had the sleeve. So it was like... Everybody's getting a surgery. All my Facebook friends, everybody getting surgery. Everybody looking good. Brittany's still fat and wide. So, <laughs> and I work out. I work out more than all of them put together. You know, it's it's trash. But <sighs> I digress. So let me go comb my edges. Out. They look horrible. You think these bitches slick? They don't. They don't slick. And no matter what kind of styler gel whatever i put on them to hold them down edge tamer none of that shit work because these are natural kunta edges but um yeah also i'm gonna make another video uh i guess on my traveling goals for this year because this video is already 20 minutes y'all probably not even gonna watch it I i'm gone <laughs>